right, let's ask these damn people inside what they think about the lady. Hi again. <clears throat> so, uh, how things going? Nothing jumps out to you. I tried. Nothing I really was. I wanted those box cars. How about you get out and breathe? The air in the tent. Oh God! Damaged health. To think clearly. By the charge, I checked it out. And what happened? I talked to the crab man. Oh man! Who is he? What did you think? Seemed okay, to be honest. Very spiritual. Really? Huh. Interesting. What's he doing in the church? Just, just preaching. No matter. Is he gonna be a problem? Yeah. Noid is right. Let's get back to the point. What are we gonna do about him? These guys will never catch him. You will never catch him. There's nothing to do. He keeps himself physically active, thinks spiritual thoughts, and doesn't drink. It's fault. How am I to evict such a person? But he's likely up to no good. He's a crab man, man. A menace to society. I doubt that. I don't know, man. Doesn't it feel like a major hindrance to you? A spooky guy climbing around when all the guests are trying to have nice, friendly hyper time. God damn it, Andre. You're gonna have to live with the crab man. I guess it's not a massive <clears throat> problem now that I think of it. Live with the crab man. Everyone is welcome to dance till the morning light. Yeah! <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I guess we'll figure something out. Okay, but what about the other spooker? The one in grandma's clothes. Did grandma's you know? clothes. A programmer? That's odd. What was she like? Did you ask her about the nightclub? She said you guys haven't been very honest. Come on, man. Who will you trust? The spooky programmer or us? We just want to make the world a better place. Feel the love. Get down and feel it. All right. You know, I guess I am kind of feeling it. You'll get there. Believe me. When we've got our gear set up, Things will be flowing and pumping. Anyway, now that it's settled, how did she see? I mean, disposition-wise, about the dance club idea. Yeah, Oda Nine. Rocking it or dropping it? <laughs> she did not like the dance club what idea. A pity. That's my favorite thing in the world. And she doesn't like it at all. A shame. What can we do now? Do you see a way out of this jam? And into a laser-lit future of dance and unity? Unity! Dance! God damn it, he's so funny. And you can't just evict her? <sighs> no, I will not evict her. Look at you, honor man. I don't need this from a fucking Sephiroth ripoff in the middle of a tent in the winter in Martinez. No, Noid. He's right. Maybe we've approached it the wrong way after all. I'm sure there's a workaround. We can make a deal not to bother her. If that's okay with her, we only want to get in the church and spread the joy and ecstasy of music. The lines in the dark exist. Coexist. <laughs> this this picture. At least Crabman seems like an advanced being. He's hard. He'll understand. He's he's yeah, hard. He can do his climbing thing in the tower. And the programmer, does she like anodic dance music? She absolutely does not. Egghead cannot believe what you just said. It makes him pump the jam a little slower for a moment, but then he returns to the full swing of it. <laughs> no worries. We'll figure it out. If coexisting fails, you can always muscle her out, right? If it's all okay with you, what do you think? I refuse to throw her out, but I can try convincing her. Excellent. Good luck, my friend. Nothing jumps out to you. Nothing out of the ordinary. But Suna said they haven't been honest with haven't me. They? Or maybe it's that mean programmer herself who's been lying to you. How about you get out? Oh, my health. The air in the tent is. Goodbye, officer. I need to stop taking this check. Hey. The shaggy haired girl kneels on the sea ice. She looks up. As you approach. So you talk to my associates, right? Are you gonna help us? With the church, I mean. Yeah. Great. Let us know if there's any progress, will ya? 
We've been waiting for weeks here. I'd like to know more about your associates. My associates? I haven't got much to say about them. Of course I do. I just don't tell people about my friends and who they are and so on. I don't provide information on them. Okay, how about you? Me? I'm a silver bird. I don't know what that means. Don't know what makes you think it'll be any different later, but... New task, you're ta Okay, the others told me you went inside the church. What did you see in there? Oh, that. You're not going to believe me. There's no point in me telling you. Mm, we'll see. Okay. I went in and I saw a woman next to one of those machines there. Noid calls it a mainframe. She was dressed like someone who's been raised by their grandmother. <laughs> you know, strange old clothes. Had this absent expression. Didn't say anything. Just stood still. Go on. And then, you know, right behind her, a man crawled down the wall. Upside down like a crab. Down the church wall. I think the woman didn't even know he was there. He was completely silent. He stopped right before he got to the floor. Then just hung there like that, looking at me. Right at me. I fucking turned around and walked out. End of story. Like a crab, you say? Hmm, yes. I saw him. I saw the crab man. You saw him? Does it mean that you went in there? Yes. Did you see the other spooker? The one in grandma's clothes? I did indeed see them both, yes. Good, so you believe me. You should go tell this to Andre. He'll know what to do next. What? My associates. Sorry. I just don't tell people about my... I don't know what makes you think it'll be. Okay, well, I can't get her to talk about our associates for some reason. Maybe after the nightclub? And then... Uh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna table all this crazy stuff going on here. Um... And, and head on out. It's getting very, very dark. And I'd like to go and, uh, and kinda... I don't know. See, maybe finish the traps. Go check the traps for the cryptozoologists and everything. Might be kind of nice. Looking back from the rust colored water, you. Yep, that's what happens when you look in water. <laughs> There's those kids, then the old lady, then the 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 junkies. I don't know if I looked at this barrel or not yet. Oh hell yeah, let's go! We got more speed. Ah, there's the last trap. It takes you a moment. The reeds bend. The constant distant song. Louder on oh, the, stop, the stuff. trap feels light and silent as you pick it up. Something is different here. Look closer. No locus. <gasps> it's empty! Your voice echoes on the coast, carried by a gust of cold wind. Well, debate worked on something. This doesn't mean it was a reed monster, though. Unless you see one in there, I just see an empty trap. The netting is a little untidy, messier than the others. Like someone or something picked up the trap and shook it before dropping it back down on the ground. Hmm. Perhaps our cryptozoologists have competition in the form of an actual entomologist, or someone oh. else is sabotaging them. I could present more theories, but then I would be taking this on as a case, which I'm not. You're yeah, right, but I still need to tell them about it. Okay. But after that, we get back to our own assignments. There really is no explanation for this detour right now. None. None whatsoever. <laughs> Just because you're right, Kim, doesn't mean I'm going to listen to you. Just because you're right does not mean I'm not going to go looking around for all kinds of shenanigans. And now we're back! Oh wait, isn't there like a fast travel? I don't know how to do the fast travel. It might be the payphone. You know, I actually have like a somewhat decent amount of money. Humanitarian aid tuna fish, not for resell. Being resold. Oh goodness. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I can retry the check with this guy and ask about a soul. Still here, stuck in this damn jam, my man. In his eyes. Finally. A familiar longing, flecks of brown and gold. It's hard to say. His gaze wanders southwest, down the street that goes beyond the horizon. The road continues for miles, flowing together with other roads, turning into causeways or bridges, ending suddenly in dead ends, or ramping up or down highways. It forms a crisscross pattern across the land. Okay. Above the Jamrock Quarter, in the form of a raised motorway, and then the never-ending sprawl of Forberg, high above buildings, new and old, the air filled with the rumble of motor engines. Further. To the old, old south, to the farthest outskirts of Revachon, through the checkered fields of farmland, upstream to the river Esperance, past Mont Martin, the border approaches. Beyond the border? You cannot see. It's out of the city. Up ahead, the mist blocks all sight. A gale blows across your cheeks. It is cold. Before you stands a tall lorry driver with sad eyes. Excuse me. He emerges from the reverie. You can tell me, man. Man, I don't know what to say. Not much anyone can do. There's no helping in absence, you know. I miss my family. They're all I have. My wife, second kid on the way, waiting all the way in Diora. And here I am stuck in this shit. So Diora of the Seven Seas. It's on the other end of Le Caillou, pretty much. On another island called Laurentide, off mainland. We've got a little place there. I can almost hear my kid laugh when it snows. Hmm. What's it like? Good. And bad. An ache that brings you joy. I think of them a lot. I dream up these silly scenarios in great detail of living with them. It comforts me. <sighs> what about you, cop man? You missing someone? Uh-oh. Is that what it is? This feeling? No, it's scarier than that. You're pursued by a hunter, smelling of apricots and sorrow, and the past. Apricots and sorrow. I'm gonna try to be honest. I miss someone, but I don't know who it is. I feel for you, my friend. It's bad enough to know who you miss. Missing like that doesn't feel like it has much of an upside. But thanks for this. It's nice to talk to someone. And I know it wasn't easy to ask. I hope you find your way through your own troubles. You got any smokes on you? Nope. Don't smoke. Some of the other drivers do, though. They're still- Hey, isn't he- like smoking right now, the smell is in the air. Finally, finally, I succeeded by one dice roll. Finally, I realize. Sure, you smoke. You're smoking right now. Okay, but this His is my eyes. last one, and it's a bad habit. You should quit before both of us have lung cancer. Are you sure you don't already have lung cancer? You, you, that's a great point, but it's fine. Wait, what's up with this? What's up with this? You see a set of tire tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. Oh, it's yellow now which could, because my motor rigs have gotten better. Why am I looking at this? Cop habit. You look at everything. Okay, what kind of vehicle do you have to here? God damn it. Visual calculus. Oh wait, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on this one. We gotta put on some good visual calculus clothes, you know? Uh, all right, let's see here. That one removes it. Drama. Nice car. Aha! Oh! Aha! Oh yeah. Our calculus is insane. The tracks in the brown slush. The tire tracks were left here by let's an go. unknown event. That took place some days ago. It's a message written in the language. Crash the reverse rubber. turn. Oh no, I think it was me. Some of that rubber stuck to the tiles right in front of the whirling in rags. This is point A. 
The driver started there. This sounds like me because I oh. And then accelerated straight into the fence. The driver proceeded to back out of the yard. And then barely stopping before hitting the adjacent building. Oh my god. Before heading south. Must have been in a hurry. Yep. Yes, it is. Well, you did provide us with a very convenient access point to the crime scene. God damn it. All right, let's talk to the zoo cryptozoologist people again. Bitch. I feel a requirement to say that every time I come here. It's great to see you again, officer. My wife can't wait to thank you. Go on, talk to her. Hi. Oh, sweetie, I don't even know how to thank you for finding my husband and helping him out. I hope we haven't been too much trouble for you. Just doing my job, ma'am. Here, I want to give you a small token of my gratitude. Seen it's a bit. tie. Mesk in origin. The pin is an antique. Quite special. The little silvery knob holding the tie together feels warm in your hand. Huh. It's in the shape of an avian skull. How nice. With eight eyes. A nice gift. Oh, you don't want to hear about some old woman's ramblings. Lena, I have listened to so much of your ramblings. Ramblings? Nonsense. Your description of the phasmid is the most precise I've ever heard. But darling, I didn't even get the size of it right. You were a child, my dear. Really. It's extraordinary what you were able to describe. Now go on, tell our friend about it. He's proven his interest in the field. And I've checked the traps. That is a way, way bigger compliment than it sounds like. <laughs> Reflexively, the lieutenant read his, his familiar notebook. <laughs> well, it was summer. I was building a racing track out of sand on the beach near a tall stand of reeds. Quite a tall one. Many times my height, I remember. When all of a sudden, ah, I'm getting ahead of myself. I was five and a half in Betancourt in the suburbs. My grandmother had a summer home there. She'd just started forming memories. Real memories. Not the billowy haze of infanthood. Mm. The strangest moment of my life. I looked up and one of the reeds moved. Not like a plant, but like a living thing. It stood up and looked at me. Its body unfolded like some antique toy. I've never seen anything like it. She had no fear, just surprise. I didn't know this can happen, so I reached my arm and touched the thing. It felt just like a stalk of reed, but it moved, swaying, towering above me. After a while, 20 seconds, a minute maybe, it left went into the reeds. I tried, but I was only a child. There was mud and high water. I couldn't see it anymore. I was just standing there, knee-deep in mud, looking around me. Where did you go? Don't go. Hmm. I ran back home to my grandmother and asked her if reeds could walk and told her they were looking at me. <laughs> of course, she just laughed at me, but I knew what I'd seen. For years, it was a story I told at parties when I wanted to impress boys, that sort of thing. Of course, most people just took it as a strange, amusing anecdote. So did I, honestly. But then I met Morel. We were on a date. Can you imagine? She tells me a story, and it's the most detailed report of the Insulindian phasmid I've ever heard. The sounds. She told me it hissed. So that's how they met. This is beyond significant for them. This is absolutely adorable. I love hearing about this. This gives me all kinds of... of the, my jimmies are all kinds of rustled. Actually, that's normally what happens when you're angry. It, my jimmies are feeling it. It did, yes. Like reeds in a gust of wind. The way it moved, the color, how some of its limbs were white like marble 
It matched perfectly with what I know from other accounts. It was amazing. If it weren't for Lena, I might have given up hope years ago. It's no exaggeration to say that she restored my faith in my profession. Hmm. Looks at her with admira admiration for getting a wide smile on his face. Aww. Our first, yes. Not all of them. There is some white coloration Along with beige, where the camouflage ends. It's hard to say how big things are when you're quite small yourself. True. To me, it's when I got bigger, all the I houses I saw when I was younger suddenly felt quite small. How could she? Who imagines this? She didn't know about the phasmid. Oh, this I didn't read what I just it. said. What makes it a confirmed sighting? She had no previous knowledge of the insect. That's true, yes. I'm almost certain neither my mother nor my grandmother knew of it. It was only when I started telling my story as a teenager that boys would tell me, Lena. She lowers her voice, imitating a boy. You trying to tell us you saw the insulin Indian phasmid out there in those reeds? Get out of here. <laughs> they just give me a cider and ruffle my hair and tell me to stop dreaming. But I saw it. Kim, what do you make of all this? I thought it was a wonderful story, man. He closes his notes and gives her a simple smile. But I don't believe it. A child left unattended on a warm day. Children make up stories and then end up believing them. You're welcome, sweetie. I do appreciate the chance to relive it whenever I get one. It was just... Such an impossibly sunshiny day. So warm. And she could get up and walk right into the reeds on her own. Into the mud. Anywhere. How nice. We have basically completed the cryptozoologist quest. <laughs> Nothing like the gratitude of a good woman. Except for maybe uh this part. What can I do for you? He tries to play it cool, remain professorial, but inside, this man is itching for some news on those traps. I checked all the traps. Good. Okay. He breaks his calm. And? and one of them was empty. Completely empty? Uh-huh, Morel, you know it. Surprise. Tempered with fear and trepidation. He doesn't know what to think yet. Maybe you're joking. Something in the trap. No locusts, no phasmid. No locusts? No phasmid either? Mm-hmm. That's not ideal, but... It just means the Insulindian phasmid is even more clever than we thought. Okay, that's... <laughs> of course, more <laughs> clever. <laughs> <laughs> that was... That line was delivered so well. Of course, more clever. <laughs> the way he whispered under his breath, that line was delivered excellently. You're dealing with a subject near and dear to their hearts. It might behove you to tread lightly. Yes, the Phantasmodea picked off the locust and escaped. This is good news, though we'll have to reconsider the design of the traps, make them more secure. Another trip to the reeds. Yes, that's exactly what it is. What a deft hunter at that, Phasmid. Of course. Be sarcastic. Whoa. Unless you have an alternative. I, I didn't know I was being sarcastic. Like adventure. Mine stands, okay? I didn't know I was being sarcastic. Actually, no. Excuse me for getting emotional. This is a big deal for us. You've helped us twice now. And brought some great Could have used some uh, sarcasm parentheses on that one, please. The gratitude of the Societe Cryptozoologique de Ravachol is yours. Heartfelt gratitude. But does it feel like closure? What really happened? Some kind of foul play might be afoot. Theft? Thank you, it's an honor. We should probably return to our main investigation here. This has been refreshing, but... Helping cryptozoologists isn't really a priority for our Oh my god! Is it? The lieutenant looks out the window, impatiently. Wait, what is that? Plus one enthusiastic about Phasmid, plus two with the trap, plus three for considering Arcturnus, and then plus two more for Kuno's a hooligan? Oh, because Kuno could have done it. 
That's why. Snake eyes, baby. Here we go. Consider the way the empty trap was disturbed, as though shaken. Most likely the hands of a young person. Hands small enough to fit inside the trap, too. Kids, what would a child want with bags? <laughs> Kuno probably fucking ate them for all I know. Oh, my dear Morale. You've been an old man for too long. Kids love to torment insects almost as much as they love to torment old folks. Talk to the little gremlin. Delinquents, my favorite. It doesn't sound like it's really his favorite. Oh, you've been such a dear to us. Please let us know whatever you turn up. I have a feeling we're getting so close. Well, I see you've got all the help you need. I'll see you tonight at my place. Let's play suzerainty, but no more field trips for me. Gary, I would torture you in a shipping container for months. Really, Gary? We're getting somewhere here. I'd love to play Suzerain tea, but... Lena, I'm sorry, but you're not getting anywhere. It was some kids. I know the little mutants around here. Leave anything out in the open and they'll steal it, even if it's bugs. For years. I'll do it for years, Gary. Morel, it's been fun, really. But I need a bath and I have deliveries to handle. When this tea is done, I gotta run. I, I run from me. No, no. No need to apologize, Geary. You'd be more than helpful. We'll have to take a rain check on that game of Sue's rain tea today, though. We're going to follow this through. The first man to break formation is always a blow to leadership. This is bigger than he lets on. Did you know Gary's hiding the armor? Hell no. I had no idea. And I'm still cross with him, to be honest. It's not like him. He's got his quirks. But dishonesty, disloyalty, are not one of them. I don't know what got into him, officer. Thank you for letting him off easy. I didn't try to. He won't forget it. We'll make sure he won't. I want to see this new thing I got. Oh, that's wait, that's really good. Plus one inland empire and volition. Sorry, horrific necktie, but you're out of here for now. Hate to break it to you, Gary, but rhinos don't just combust in flames. I don't know if I want to talk to Titus. I kind of do, but I kind of don't. I actually kind of... Uh, we'll see. Kuno! You bitch! I sock you in the face again. Absolute degenerate. Kuno's like Kuno's dad. Kuno doesn't give a fuck about anything. No. Kuno doesn't give a fuck about books. Oh my god, I told you that shit is lame. Shut up, C. Now they're gonna take you to lame prison. Oh no, not lame prison. She sounds like she's about to cry out of disappointment at Kuno's newfound lameness. Deny everything, Kuno. You need to lawyer up. Kuno's not gonna say anything without his lawyer present. <laughs> That's... <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that statement is really funny. There's definitely something going on here. Remember his pig's head shack? You should check it out. Mm. Kuno doesn't. Okay, the the lawyer present part was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I hate this child, but I'm starting to like him a bit more. It's crawling with locusts in here. Oh my god, get out. Leave. Kuno, you shitter! Kuno's like Kuno's dad. Kuno doesn't give a fuck about anything. The fuck do you want with it? Good call, Pigmeister. Kuno do Wait. I, I, I did just found out. It's covered in insects. Wait, there's nothing else to click, though. That's a door. Wait. Hold on. The 
fact that this place is crawling with insects is, is a whole Jesus. Kuno? Kuno's like Kuno's dad? Yeah. The kingdom of Kuno? The fuck do you want with it? There's also a mug in this trash. Show him the- wait, the, the, the racist mug? The fuck? A mug in the trash? Is this about the fucking clothes again? Yes, does this adequate descript depiction of a South Samaritan man have anything to do adequate this This is racist mug have anything to do with it? Yeah. Kuno sees where this is going. Kuno's got that fast brain. You saying you picked it after the mug fucker cause he's the clothes fucker? Yeah. I can't hear you, Kuno. Speak louder, Kuno. Shit, that's tense. Someone's going to the beat down basement, huh? Mug guy gonna get tied to the radiator. Kuno doesn't know who put that shit in there. And if he did, he wouldn't squeal. But if you find out, maybe you can... Stop turning into a pig, Kuno! They're trying to get you hooked on the snitching! Get away from my Kuno f Yeah, get your bacon shit away! Bacon like shit away! Popo. Get your yeah, whatever! I can't Kuno ask about the locust it. anymore! Yeah! Yeah, whatever. Could the fuck about it? Your tech Get lost! Oh, God. The fuck do you want with it? Oh, that. Kuno decapitates pigs. That's just a Kuno demo tape. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, to the both of you. All right, I've heard enough of this. All right, all right. Kuno's, Kuno's not. He's not. Oh, my God. Okay, well, I figured out the, the thing. Maybe I gotta go talk to... Maybe I gotta go talk to the, the, the morale again because... I'm pretty sure I just asked it properly, and I literally saw that it was covered in locusts. Hey, Morel. Hello, officer. I think I almost have it. A new trap design, that is. I know you're skeptical, but I have a good feeling about this. Maybe not. How about you, Lena? Oh, hello, sweetie. God damn it! I. I find out the real reason why the trap was empty. Local kids might know. Wait, wait okay, okay. Wait, more kids? It's crawling in local. Oh, I guess there's local kids plural. I could talk to Kuno S, but Kuno S doesn't give me anything. How about how about you, other local kid? Hi, Ace Detective. Are you here for more books? No. No, I do need to ask about the library card for the dead man. What? Okay, there's something in the sewer. That's great. Man, once I start getting extra levels, this whole place opens up even, like, more and more. Alright, Kuno S, you bitch. Speak. Trying to sneak up on me again? Trying to snuff me out? Get away, pig! It didn't work. I'm gonna go talk to, um... What's her name? The the red mur mural girl. Hello again, officers. Have you come to admire my mural? Uh. Can't you tell? I'm. I haven't really started it yet. Nope, it's I not mean, working. This place is severely lacking in havoc. Not even the occasional trash can fire to break up the tedium. I thought I'd mix it up. You know. Summon the forces of crime and yeah. I actually have an opinion I lied. Lying is cool, I guess. <laughs> okay, well that's not working either. Oh, maybe it means local kids as in the kids in um the two young kids on the other side of the area. Oh, it could mean them. Ooh. Because maybe they saw it? That would make sense. Kuno's not telling me shit. You know, I really should sell my, my cans. I have like a lot. The tear machine stands. Your bottles clunk into the machine. 
and the money. I had significantly less than I thought I did. Wait, 3.8 means 38. Actually, it's not bad. Wait, so the payphone is a fast travel thing. Then... Could I, like, over here? The already familiar cold touch of plastic oh. welcomes you as you pick up the handset. This is different. Let your muscle memory dial a random number. It's unclear whether you actually have muscle memory. Right now, your finger is just draw. Sure, why not? Muscle memory. The a giant ass print on the pillow and a pattern of coffee rings on the armrest. I, I, I like how this game has has just so many various things it wants to say about like like socio political stuff and racism and so on. But it does not even give a fuck. It's like you know what? Fat shame him. Fat shame him nonstop. It's hilarious. All right, maybe this payphone. An old call box with a matrix of push buttons lists all the companies in the East Delta Commerce. Taxi. Center. Looks like someone has melted half the plastic off this button. Huh, this button looks new. It's probably not connected yet. Oh, well, oh well, I'm running back. I'm taking the long way then. The kids aren't that far, honestly. Oh. All right, kids. I'm going to ask you about bugs. I need your opinion on the bugs. Who took them? Where'd they go? Well, I know who took them, but the rest. Hey, kids. Bug questions. The scruffy haired little boy kicks a stone. God damn it. Other watches him do it. This one doesn't. <laughs> Mom. The stone kicker laughs. The other one laughs as maybe there's some kind of reason why they're laughing. The boy stops laughing and looks at his toes. Oh, okay. So now he's shy. Now he's not talking. Just wobbling around like he's afraid of something. The map is... Wait, where's the other... Where's the other payphone over here? Forget how far away it was. Was it this direction? Like, up here? Ah, here's the call box. Click. Nope. Click. You pick up the handset. There's a tone. The machine is operable. Ten cents. Calling. Still calling. This feels wrong. Should you be doing this? I don't know. End of tone. Someone picks up. Pear, is that you, Pear? No. Do you have any news about Pierre? Who is Pierre? Uh, but who are you then? A salesman of some sort? Modern goods are rubbish, and I can't afford them anyhow. It's a shame what you did to our country. Oh, my, my God. Uh, no, I'm a police officer. To hell with the police. To hell with you. Her voice is drowned in white noise. Sounds like waves washing a beach, growing in volume until the call suddenly disconnects. You get a sinking feeling. It makes you look if Lieutenant Kitsuragi overheard you. To your relief, he did not. I do not understand that interaction at all. All right, let's look at our tasks for the time being. We're still doing the insect case. I talked to Kuno. I don't know what I'm missing here. I also found those local kids. Um, Cell Associates. Noid being a weirdo. Uh, ask the little girl in the fishing village down the coast who knows something about the armored gloves. 
Little girl in the fishing village down the coast. Down the coast. I'm gonna sit on this bench. The worn and beaten wooden planks of the bench do not look overly comfortable. I can't both staring at the bench. We can sit on bench. You can revisit the bench. I don't want to revisit the bench. They say down the coast. Hmm. Let's see. Did I go in this shack already? Oh, I must not have. This is a weird shack. You see a dark red chair in the dim light of this it's room. It's only a red chair. Just a red chair in an empty shack. With what looked like a dusty bow tie on the shelf. Nothing to see here, right? Right? In someone's abandoned shack. On the coast. In Martinez. In Ravachol. What's with the red chair? Nothing. It's just a piece of furniture. Red paint is peeling off it. Looks like blood, no? A bow tie. And a postcard. I don't like... I don't like it. My mind's not going in, in great spots right now thinking about that. So there's the trap. So it's supposed to be a girl down the coast, they said. Like... What is... Where is down the coast? You say... When you say down... Like, my, my thought is south, but like, it's like southwest then, I guess? Does it say young girl or kid? It says little girl. These are boys, so they, they aren't who I'm looking to talk to. I'm in the fishing village, though. It also said down the coast. Uh, well, I'm not seeing a little girl. What can I do right now? What can I? I mean, I guess I, well, I guess I thought they, she's not a little girl, though. The, uh, the lady, the lady with the disco dudes, or not the disco dudes, the electronic dudes. Then there's that man with his son. Yeah, down. Hmm. Maybe she's not here, but it says fishing village, though. And this is the fishing village. There's the church and the bro dudes. It's going to do a nice like once over real quick. Are there? Hmm. Oh, hello. I forgot I haven't entered this area. Elements, oh my god. The wind has blown a sand dune in front of it. The door hasn't been opened in a long while. You see a handle. It's military. A service depot of some sort. Probably something that is no longer there. Okay. This interfacing is is like I can't do, redo a red check, so I don't really want to talk. I don't really want to work with that because that's a an, a basically impossible check. Nothing here. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna ask for the. Uh, I'm gonna ask this one. Um, member, not member. I, I keep a. Gotta 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 shoot anyone who gives tips and stuff. Make sure you do that. But um, I w I'm asking this time. Genuinely asking. Uh, where's the fast travel thing? Because it was it was shown. I, I it's not the payphone. So, where is the fast travel? Have I been in this house yet? Over here. Oh, I guess I haven't. Hello, small girl. Well, I thought I'd already been in this house. I have not been in this house. Holy shit. 
A taxidermy birds. Industrial coal pellets burned with an orange. This place actually looks quite nice. Is that the phasmid? It looks like the phasmid leaning against the wall. Oh my god, the fireflies. It's not the phasmid. It's not even organic. It's a fire iron. How disappointing. I can't believe it. Right? You'll have better luck next time, though. The phasmid, finding it is your destiny. Give the dream of discovering the insulin needed phasmid a rest for now. Uh, hi, young girl. What kind of. Uh, mister, what were you doing in my fireplace? There was a phasmid. I was trying to catch it. Oh. Okay. I heard there was a girl with armored gloves. Is that you? Oh. I had gloves. Very big ones. Heavy, too. Where did you get these gloves? Found them when Lemmy and I were playing hide and seek. In an empty house. Where no one lives. I think someone hid them there. Uh huh. She doesn't want you to think she stole them. Uh huh. I hid them. The twins were gonna take them. They're stupid. We're going to need those gloves. It's for important police business. He does say his last two words carefully. Important police business. Oh. <sighs> They're in my sand castle. Behind our house. Under the sand. You can break the castle. It's not very good. <laughs> are, are, are you Lillian's daughter? Yes! I am! Little Lily. Little you know Lily. Mom? I do! That's nice. My mom is great. She's never angry or anything. My mom is great. Yes. They don't want to play with me. They're older and play outside. They look the same. <laughs> Sometimes I can't tell them apart. I'm actually pretty imp impressed with this kid's voice acting. Normally, whenever I see children in video games, my first initial thought is to like punt them like across the football field because they're normally incredibly annoying. Um, but but she's actually pretty good. They look identical. <laughs> Holy shit! Um, show that stuff Brody took from the it's ceiling. A grouse. Uh huh. You might be able to get on God's good side if you replace the broken skewer you almost certainly broke. <laughs> Can I have it? I like it a lot. Sure. Yay! You already took it. I don't like it anyway. It looks angry. What's that toy you're holding? It's Lammy. Lammy. So. Lamby is a stuffed lamb that, admittedly, has seen better days. One of the eye buttons is missing, and the fur is tattered in several parts. Lammy looks like he's falling apart. Yes. Lammy has lived a long life. Lammy was a rev rev revolutionary. <laughs> yes, Lammy was a revolutionary. <laughs> I must confiscate the lamb, as it is a communist. Bye. That house looks incredibly nice. And not terrible. I'm shocked. You know, I think I will get on Gart's good side. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do that. Weather has not been kind to Lily's little sandcastle. The once mighty towers are quickly eroding away. You can see something shining back to you from what must have been a vast underground catacomb network. The walls and floors give way to the giant's greed collapse and present you with a pair of ceramic gauntlets. Congratulations. That's the gauntlets down then. We're doing good on the armor collection front. E right, but we're not because I'm not going to get the other bit. Plus two interfacing. God damn, these gauntlets are good. Regular old polo shirt. Not worth wearing without the armor. Oh, I'm so sad. I got both the other pieces of armor, but I'm not going to be able to get the... Uh, I'm not going to be able to get the last piece of armor. It makes me sad. Gosh darn it. 
The scruffy haired little boy kicks a stone while the other watches him do it. Is little Lily your sister? Point to the house. Yes. 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 That's it? You're being laconic about what's that mean? It doesn't look like he knows what that means. God damn it. Is little Lily your yes. sister? Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Oh my god. Children are stupid. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> yes. Hi there. Hi, the sea's gonna calm down soon. I can feel it. The wind is turning southeast. What's on your mind, officer? Oh, that's my motor carriage over there. Oh. That's good to know, I guess. <laughs> Why is it in the sea? Uh, it was an accident, I'm sorry. This calls for a funeral, if you ask me. You are suggesting we honor the carcass of my former motor carriage? Hi. Feels deserved, don't you think? Falling in the line of duty like that and all? What an odd thought. Maybe I should. Why odd? Our things are part of our life world. They're made with our human sweat and they share human history. We should care about them as we care about humans, to some extent, at least. All right, I'm in. I want to have a funeral for my car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you won't even be able to get it out of the water before early June. And where are you going to bury it? Who to invite? What music to play at the wake? Take it from someone who's been through a few funerals. It's easiest to just leave them there and let nature take care of it. That's all we have time for right now, anyway. Come back here in June and see how you feel about it then. It's not like it's going anywhere. Oh man, June is in like three months and I don't think we get to go to June in this game. Yes, that is a pity. But for now, let's focus on the things we do get to do. Like the murder investigation, for example. We like the Capri funeral idea. <laughs> I'm actually really shocked that, that the, the, the droid, the like, ask her to go on a, a date is so hard. I, I have six suggestion. And then, now, okay, now that's, let me rephrase that. Um, because now I'm sounding like Bowser in the Mario movie where he's like, where I'm like, I can just roll some dice and you go out with me. It's like, it kinda. Um, I like the Kim's presence thing though. I, I, I'd i like to ask her out for the to the date. That sounds nice, but uh, I don't know. At least now I have a spot. But Kim's presence does indeed make it a little awkward. Also, Wood Elf, tell me how the hell to fast travel. I asked legitimately. Help. I need to sell some things to Roy. Okay. Ah, oh, stuff bird to guard. We'll do that. Cause now I'm actually asking about the about the, the fast traveling. Hey Gart. Can I help you? So someone earlier told me that Gart sounds like Magnus the Red's uh text to speech voice actor, and I'm shocked at how correct that is. What is this thing? It's no biggie, I just thought it would kind of look nice on the wall. I'm that kind of cop. What, the interior decorating kind? You know, I'm sorry, this is actually a nice bird. A competent piece of taxidermy. I can fix it to the plaque and have a new bird in the establishment, I guess. So, I don't know. Thank you. I'm gonna go with thank you. You're welcome. People just don't know how to accept gifts. Especially taxidermy. <laughs> he likes it. He likes the bird. It solves his broken bird problem. It does! This was mostly about the fucking cardio. Massive cardio here. You'll live till 90. Or you get a heart attack from running. I feel good about our work here today. It's all about the little things, like bringing people random stuffed animals. Yeah, I agree. Uh, 
map is kind of, I think when you click on the written names, locations of the map, but when you're specifically in one of those areas. Okay. It's... Ah, I need to be at the spot to travel. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Okay. This makes much more sense. I think I was at the spot earlier. It, it, it's a little buggy, maybe. Yeah. We'll just do lots of, lots of, lots of walking. Hey, boss. Again? I can't believe this shit. Yes, sir. What is it? Let's look. Are we from the same police station? God damn it, you leave her alone. Keep your weird bullshit to yourself and be professional for once, for fuck's sake. Can I actually help you with something? Yes, of course. Preposterous. I mean, you would remember if they were, right? Who forgets their squad mates? That's not possible. Are you with him? Of course I'm with him. Why do you ask? He's an asshole. You're an asshole. <laughs> you know what? Maybe with both assholes. Please, uh, let's not turn this into another exchange, okay? <laughs> uh, it uh, means I'm a patrol officer, sir. All right, this 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 is not gonna go anywhere with them. Just breathing down my neck. Hey, Titus, how's it going, dude? You want to chat? Looks like the circus left town, but the clowns are still here. Yep. I I I feel like there are going to be repercussions if I do not handle this properly. Like serious repercussions. All right, Kuno. Come on, man. Just just tell me about the fucking locusts. Come on, just say it. Kuno's like Kuno's dad. Kuno doesn't give a fuck about anything. The fuck do you want with it? Good call, pick the fuck about it. Uh. Your tech. Get lost. Kuno he's. God damn it. He's not telling me anything. Not the real reason why the trap was empty. Local kids might know. Yeah, I, I'm talking to the local kids. Are there other local kids around even? Like the like the up there? Maybe? Are there kids in the in the You're a child? What do you know? Hi, Ace Detective. Are you here for more books? I do my studies at home at the moment. I have to help mum keep this place Where's running. school anyway? School? Well, mine is a big yellow building on Boogie Street, and the people there run it. They say it's a charity. What? The gale wind blows in from the coast, a wind of needles. It wraps itself around a building of brick and mortar. Somewhere, a clamor rings through the honeycomb of classrooms. Remorse, the parquet of assembly halls, the rows of stall bars are growing cold. The corridors stand empty. A girl's voice somehow finds its way through this strange feeling. You haven't heard a word of what she's been saying these past few moments. Oh. You only hear. Mum says it's necessary to do both because it builds character. Mum says a proper worker is dutiful. That's how you get ahead in life. You succeed. Mum says it's peachy. Peachy. She's a little afraid at first. There's talk about this house being cursed. Behind her. The window has been boarded up. You sense the boards. Mm -hmm. All right, I need to talk to the library bitch about the library card. You broke down the back door, the wards, the door. It's all gone now. Dark psychic energy leeching onto my shop. <laughs> I suppose. It's all over now. I guess there's no escape. Just a door. This place is cursed, Detective. They don't call it the doomed commercial area for nothing. Just look at the sheer amount of companies that have failed in this house. God, God damn it, this I lady. I you're happy now. 
happy that you've ruined everything. Now that you've broken the door, the curse is coming to get me as well. Host Almighty, she prays. Guard me and my honest business venture from the curse that lurks behind the door. Blessed be your name. Of course you didn't. You're nothing but a policeman. All right. You know what? I'm willing to let you investigate the doomed commercial area. We are set on the path. There's little else to do. But before we go on, tell me, did you encounter the malignant entity? Malignant entity, it would seem. Yes. The malignant entity that lives inside the chimney. It takes the what? shape of a woman, a witch probably. I've suspected that she knows more about the curse than she lets on ever since I first saw her. Chimney, the passage between heaven and hell. It makes sense now. Yes, that chimney is part of the building's central furnace and it's enormous. She has barricaded herself behind some metal security curtains. God knows what she's doing there. What? Some unnatural magic, I assume. You should go find the entity and ask what happened to all the companies in the building. And do return to me after you've talked to it. I'm quite anxious to know what she has to say about the curse. This lady is, is like the worst. If you're really interested in cracking this mystery, then we should go back to the furnace. Maybe you could yell into it or something. Make some noise. You'll think of something. You always do. Despite his cool, the lieutenant's interested in solving this mystery, too. I don't know if I should uh, say this because I'm like, and, and that's a trooper, but I, I, uh, I, I do want to help the kid. I'm going to help the kid. God, I've told her not to do that. It's disgusting. And I told you to mind your own business. Clearly, you have no idea how hard it is to raise a girl in this economy. This is exactly what I was worried about. This economy is a mysterious force, like cosmic weather mysterious and harsh hey, i don't think she can do anything about it she can if she has enough willpower this is what's called growing pains life isn't easy life doesn't give breaks willpower mm. come on ma'am it's obvious she can't do anything about it you are placing an unnecessary burden on a young child <laughs> She stands stiff and severe, silently fuming. Ten or so seconds pass without change. This is a person coming to terms with a new reality, one where they are wrong. It's not easy. Ooh, volition with the with the the, the quiet, harsh, uh, roast. I love it. Oh no! Hold on. I need to invite her inside and apologize. She must be freezing out there. That sounded so fucking sarcastic. There. I don't know what to say to you. My husband, he tries to teach me business lessons. I have what my mother called a dull mind. All this stress. It sounds like both the husband and the mother treat her the way she treats Annette. Oh, well. My mother was horrible, of course. <laughs> Absolutely perverse energies around that person. But my husband... My husband is completely different, of course. Is this husband Annette's father? Yes. My husband is a successful entrepreneur east of the river. If only he were more involved in the business we're running up here. No matter. Soon we'll both be off for Grand Caron. It's a proper place to live. Proper? One of the most peaceful neighborhoods oh. east of Jamrock. You oh. may know it for its massive housing projects. Most of the buildings are empty at the moment. It's a great opportunity to get ahead of the crowds. Better times ahead for sure. He made the initial investment. Since then, he's been what you might call a silent partner. Oh. She's been too busy helping me here. So she studied at home this trimester. Oh this no, homeschooling. I assure you, I, of all people, understand the importance of education. Okay. Yes, I'm afraid so. We're only child. A real treat she is. It would be nice if she had... No, we couldn't have afforded more children, really. Not in this economy. We're quite busy people, you know, my husband and I. Quite busy. Children are a lot of work. You don't look like a father, yeah. <laughs> so I don't expect you to understand. I'm sorry. I'm sure you do understand. I... 
You know, she keep, I gotta be honest, she keeps talking about this economy and, and, and but I'm not gonna lie, I never really like like processed this. She's dressed very nicely and her bookstore is massive. The woman looks aloof. I don't think there's anything about the economy. I think she just wants more money. And she's willing to work her kid for it. I'm sorry, sir. I can't talk right now. I'm very busy with my homework. I have so much homework now. You just can't win. <laughs> Math. It's really difficult. Like, really. They say you need it to get rich. Better than standing outside in the cold, I guess. I can confirm. I can... <laughs> I can confirm you did not need math to get rich. I can confirm this. Oh, oh, I found something while you were away. What? I thought this would fit you. Like, thanks for helping out. Dick Mullins hat! I mean, like a detective does. Yeah! Just what Dick Mullen would ask. I got it from behind the curtains. I'm not really supposed to go there. Holy shit. Yes, I bet it looks good on you. Really serious. Right, I have to get back to my homework now. Before mum notices. Man, this is hard. <gasps> yes. Yes. If it wasn't for the very bizarre gloves, I would my drip would actually be immaculate. Oh yeah. If it wasn't for the armor, I would be I would be just swimming in pussy right now. Look at this man. So detective <laughs> detective drip on the scene. Let's go.